Oh my god, hey guys, what's up? I know it's been like months probably since last time I vlogged or recorded a video at all. So I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long and my voice probably sounds like really, really weird because I've been really sick lately. I'm not taking any type of antibiotic or anything. Maybe I should, but I really hate going to the doctor. I know that probably sounds ridiculous because you guys are probably like, what? Like, hmm? But I really like, if I don't gotta go to the doctor, I try not to go. So um, I've been taking like some NyQuil and stuff. Hopefully it'll start making a huge difference. I finally have a backdrop, right? I know, I have white, um, I got a green one so I can start doing like green screen stuff. Um, a blue one and then just a black one. I was thinking about like getting like a glittery sparkly one, but you know, that's basic. I think today what we should do is just catch up since this is kind of like my first video in a while. I really, 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 really miss you guys. I can't even say that I'm like too busy because honestly, like I haven't really been doing a lot. Well, we'll catch up anyways. I'll tell you what I've been up to, but you know, so I have a lot coming up. So we'll talk about that too. But other than that, like, I just want to like be here with you guys again. You guys know, like I am on social media a lot. Like I live off Instagram. I don't really use um, Twitter that much. I'm not really a Twitter person, but I've been neglecting my YouTube channel though. And YouTube is is so important to me and I'm like what the heck am I doing so whatever anyways let's just stop talking I just I'm sorry I'm like so excited to talk to you guys it's been such a long time but um I even like wrote like I have so much to tell you guys I had to like literally like give myself some freaking cliff notes um but yeah so where have I been the past couple months type of thing like where have I been so I I don't know if you guys heard it was a super huge thing um, but there was a hurricane here about six weeks ago in North Carolina, and it hit pretty hard. It was Hurricane Florence, and what's so crazy is, like, I play a lot of Fortnite. Like, that's where a lot of my time goes. It's like, I'm always playing Fortnite. So I'm always, like, playing squads with, like, random people, and they'll be like, oh, where are you from, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, oh, uh, you know, Wilmington, North Carolina, where the hurricane just hit. And, like, these people had never even, like, heard about it, which is so crazy because I was watching the news just a few days ago and it was saying Hurricane Florence did 17 billion dollars in damage. We also broke the record for the amount of rainfall. I think we had like 38 inches or something um, of water because I live right by the ocean so it was like it was raining. The ocean literally like took over. The high school that I went to caused over a million dollars in damages. The students just started going back to school last week. So a month and a half they didn't have any school. In comparison if you guys heard the hurricane that hit um, in Houston, like last year, that only did four billion dollars in damage. The difference there from four to 17 billion is huge. Not saying that ours was so much worse than theirs. All natural disasters are horrible and it's a, such a sad thing that happens. People literally lose their houses over it or leave their pets behind. That's one thing I didn't understand. Why, if you're not gonna stay and it's like mandatory that you evacuate, why would you leave your pets first off? That's just like me ranting. But yeah, so I brought my two cats with me. Um, we all went up to DC. Uh, I went with my, my parents and my sisters. We all went up to DC because all my family's like in the Maryland area. So we were there for like two weeks um, while everything was happening. And even when we came down when like, it was like okay for people to come home and stuff, like we still waited. I think it was like around like a Tuesday or something. They're like, okay, well people can start like, coming home and we came home on, on Friday and still like getting home it added like extra hours because roads were still flooded completely. My parents house was okay, my sister's house was okay, they live in the same neighborhood but other houses in the neighborhood didn't come out too okay. Um, I live on the third floor of my apartment complex. Our gym went underwater and a lot of the residents on the first floor had to be re relocated into like other apartments. Um, or not even apartments, but different, like um, a totally different area because there's like no more extra apartments here. So that's just one thing that's happened like in the last month and a half. So that was crazy. So I wasn't even here at home for a while, but it was kind of cool because it was like a mini vacation because I only ever really see my family 
maybe once a year if I go up there for Christmas I'll see them up once a year it was kind of cool to go up there and see everybody I saw my uncle I visited him he got some baby chicks uh, I had never like seen like one day old chicks before so that was pretty cool because you know they live like on land and um, they're like horses and stuff so it's like really really nice because here it's like super trafficy and it's just sometimes I like, get so sick of the I don't even like going out and driving here because it's just so many people but um that's just one thing so yeah I think like let's just keep snowballing and telling you everything in December December 10th I'm flying to LA I'm gonna be there until the 17th and then on the 22nd I'm going to Maryland to be with my family for Christmas up to New Year's so a lot of stuff going on um, but it's gonna be my first time ever in my life going to LA I'm super 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 excited um, I don't know, do I tell you all the details now or like should I wait? I don't know, I'm debating if I'm gonna bring my camera and vlog. Um, I don't know honestly how much I will be able to vlog anyways, but you know, I might just bring my camera just in case, just so I can like bring you on this journey with me because what I'm doing there literally and hopefully will change my life. Like, I just, I know it and I'm hoping that it's just gonna go in all the right directions because I mean, Obviously, like, it could always go this way or this way, but hopefully we're hoping it goes this way and not this way. But anyway, so in December, I'm going to LA. Right now it is, like, November, like, 9th or what is, what is today? Oh, that's not even my phone. This is my phone. Uh, November 8th right now. Um, so yeah. <gasps> Zoe's laying in her cabin. I literally, so I went to the dollar store before this video and I got this, um, it's, I'm cheap, okay? Listen, this is just a party like tablecloth and I saw these cat beds and my cats shed so much and I literally just took my giant comforter it doesn't fit in my washer or dryer so I had to take it to like a place to do it and it cost me eight dollars just to wash it so I was like you know what I'm getting them cat beds and I put the cat beds on the bed and she's laying on it and she like wouldn't lay in it earlier and she's laying on it right now so I'm like super hyped about that Sorry for getting off topic, but for real, I'm really happy that she's laying there. Okay, so talked about December, talked about um the hurricane um sorry i'm just i'm literally looking at this so i can like keep telling you more because it's literally it's so much um oh so i told you my sister lives in the same neighborhood as my parents so my sister's husband is in the military and back in like um june july i think it was like july um they got stationed where my parents live which is in uh, jacksonville and they literally bought a house, two houses down from my parents. So it's like super cool whenever I go there to visit because I can kind of just like visit everybody at once. But before that, they lived all the way in Missouri. So literally, I never saw them. I actually went and saw them once and that's when I vlogged. Um, and my sister had just given birth three weeks before that. So I got to meet my niece. Her name is Ellie Mae. She was so, so tiny and all she did was sleep all day. So it was like... I was always like trying to wake her up like no I want her awake I want her awake and my sister Ashley was like don't wake her no please don't wake her but like I wanted her awake because I wanted to like spend time with her um but now she is seven months old uh I guess that just shows how like long I've been gone I'm so sorry I hate it so much um but she's seven months old now and it's like it's so sad like she's growing so quickly and I know babies are supposed to grow but like I want her to stay the same forever because she is literally the most perfect angel ever um she really is um so I see her I actually just saw her I just came home yesterday I was at my mom's house for the weekend so I spent some time with her and she's like the most well-behaved baby ever in the world like she doesn't cry She's just so quiet and she laughs. So yeah, I've just honestly, I've been busy with like a lot of spending time with family. And I think I had a really, 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 really huge realization the other day. It was probably like a week and a half ago. I'm gonna sound ridiculous real quick, but I swear to God, I'm not even being dramatic. I was in the shower and I started bawling my eyes out. I don't know if it's cause like I haven't cried in a while. Cause like, I don't really cry that much. I mean, I did watch The Haunting of Hill House. That show's awesome. Um, I did cry in the last episode because it was so good. But I don't normally cry a lot. And I think maybe it was a mixture of like a built up. And also I just really started to think about things. And I, I don't know like what got inside my head. But I was just thinking like what am I doing? Like why do I sleep in like every day? Why am I not spending more time with my family, with my niece, with my parents, with my grandparents? Like I just realized like one day... 
sadly enough, but it's true, they're not gonna be there. And, you know, I'm not gonna just be able to text them and say, hey, how's your day going? Even if I'm not seeing them in person, I'm not even gonna be able to text them because they're not gonna be there anymore. And so lately I've just been spending a lot of time with my family because I realize like life is so short and so brief and I wanna make sure that I'm spending as much time as I can with the people that are important to me and you know, just that's something I realized. Talking about that, spending time with family, um, I was in Disney World for the beginning of October. It was like October like 7th through like, it was a, we were there for a long time. We were, we were in Disney for a week, but we have, we were like, we broke the road trip up. So it was like a little bit longer, you know? Cause like North Carolina to Florida is like 11 hours, I think where Disney is. So we were just broke it up and did stuff in between and stayed in hotels and other um, cities and stuff like along the way. I was excited about that because like that, that right there, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have like the perfect Instagram pictures for this. Um, so I actually did my makeup every single day that I was in Disney, which is like super abnormal for me because I normally don't do my makeup. Like I do my makeup for videos, but uh, I'm not out every day with makeup on. Like, and if you know me, you're like, yeah, you really don't ever wear makeup. But I was like, yeah, I need these perfect Instagram pictures, whatever. And you would think that like going to Disney in October, it would be like slower and less people, not as crazy as in the summer or Christmas, but no. It was like literally outrageous I, and I don't know if like I have claustrophobia like or I hate like people and I don't know but it was like everyone was bumping into each other and there was no room to walk like every single day we were there it was crazy and we were there during weekdays when children got to school but these kids were not at school let me tell you and I don't know it's just like I do love Disney and I do love rides but man oh man do I not really like giant crowds of people like at all? Like probably 100% don't like it at all. Um, people are just rude and I don't know if it's because it's people from all different, like all different over, all over from different countries or different states, but people just don't know manners and um, I'm not with that. So I know it's not Disney's fault, but I don't know. It kind of like pushes me away from wanting to go there because there's just so many people and they're all so pushy and shit. Like literally my grandfather, got pushed over by someone pushing a stroller like how are you gonna push over an old man like that and then not even say sorry you know what i mean like you know what i mean we went to all the different parks uh and i ended up actually getting sick there too so that was kind of crappy and my sisters ended up getting sick too so one day it was like our last day we went to animal kingdom and only me and my parents went but animal kingdom honestly like i know it's like less rides and you know what i mean but it's my favorite there's number one less people and it's basically like a zoo yeah but i don't know there's something about it i just i really like animal kingdom uh magic kingdom is cool obviously the castle it's beautiful they have fireworks every night it's perfect but that is where you're gonna run into like a billion people like there's seven billion people in the world and one billion people of those are at disney world i swear um <laughs> for real i don't know i just feel like i've been traveling a lot lately not really on purpose either because we went to Orlando, obviously, for Disney. Um, thank you for my parents. Like, I, I, I didn't have my parents and they weren't like, oh, we're doing this, that I probably wouldn't have gone. Um, the basically last minute vacation to like uh, DC and Maryland and Delaware and all up there because of the hurricane. So it's like been a lot of traveling without even having it really planned out and like not even really knowing I was gonna do that. Um, but before that, wow, my voice just cracked. Am I going through like puberty? Like, so before that, I got this job being a brand ambassador um, in Myrtle Beach. So Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is about an hour from where I live, even though I live in North Carolina. And I was basically just like brand wrapping for this new beverage that's out there. Um, so that was pretty cool because they paid for my travel because I had to like travel every single day. Um, so I was in Myrtle Beach for literally a whole month, which was kind of cool. It was in the summer. It was um, like, I think it was... July or maybe August. I think it was okay. It was definitely August the whole month of August. I was there working and um, It was pretty cool. It was just me So it was like I didn't really go out and like do all the touristy stuff But like every day between work I would go to the beach and just literally lay on the beach and then I would go back to work So I'd like I think like two or three hours in between like I would only work like what were my hours? I honestly don't even I think it was like 11 to 11 to 2 or something and then I went to the beach and then it was like four to like six or seven or something like that something i don't even remember but it was a nice little vacation too because it was like i was working but i was away from home so it didn't even really feel like i was working 
So I was busy with that for a whole month. So I don't know, I feel like a reason why I haven't made a lot of videos is because I've been so busy with being at this place and being at this place and being at this place, which yes, normally I would vlog, but I don't know. I don't know why I haven't. I really, honest, I don't have a reason why. Another huge thing, um, not really huge. I got a new phone. Um, this is the iPhone XR. Um, and I know like people are gonna be like, oh my God, of course you got the new phone. Like you have so much money. <laughs> I really like, you don't wanna know how much money I have because it's a joke. The reason why I got a new phone is because, let me show you the phone I had up until um, like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. Um, this is my old phone. I don't know how well you can see it. I know my ring light's probably on it. Um, yes, the screen is like, the whole right side doesn't work and all the glass fell out of it. And uh, my phone has looked like this, like literally the whole screen is is cracked. I don't know if, if you can tell, like all, it's all, it's bad. Uh, my phone has been like this since December of last year, a long time. This is the iPhone 7. Um, and they had that phone for like over three years and I was using it and I was fine. And what sucks is my phone literally broke while I was in Disney. Uh, not broke because it's already broken, but like the lines going through the screen started happening. I was like, what the heck? And I couldn't use the entire right side of my phone. So I couldn't like use Snapchat. I couldn't use anything. I could text, but only if I like turn my phone sideways, you know, and tight. So I was like, forget it. I'm going to get a new phone. I switched over to Verizon. I had Sprint, but um, I was like, if I'm going to get a new phone, I'm switching back to Verizon because Sprint, I never have any service ever, like literally not even in my apartment unless I'm on the Wi-Fi, not at my parents' house unless I'm on the Wi-Fi. And I had unlimited data, but I couldn't even like listen to Pandora because I had no service anywhere. The only thing about this is, I don't know, I feel like the camera quality isn't like what I thought it would be. When I got the phone, they were saying how like it's like the newest technology, the fastest processor, blah, 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 but... Honestly, I think they could have worked in the camera a little bit better. This phone was only, um, only, uh, I think it was $749, and I didn't pay $749 outright. You know, you can, like, pay, like, a little bit on top of, like, like, say your phone bill is $40 a month, and you, like, pay, like, 20 bucks for your phone. So I just pay, like, monthly for it to pay off this phone eventually. It'll probably take, like, 10 years, but, uh, the regular X was $1,000, so I was like, that's an X, too. Uh, let me get that one. Um, so I got a new phone. Finally, I got a new number. Um, so I only have like 10 contacts on my phone. I'm trying to like, I haven't really given anyone my number yet. <laughs> That's one other update, I guess. The update was like totally unnecessary, but I felt like telling you. So, you know, there you go. I want to talk to you kind of about this whole acting thing. I know um, you've probably seen some of the videos on my YouTube channel of like, me um, auditioning or like reading scripts or whatever. So I took an acting class. Um, and I'd never done it before, so I was kind of, you know, learning my way. And I'd already done, like, auditions, um, like, through camera, a lot of auditions nowadays. And I don't know if it's because, like, I'm not in L.A. where you would go for an actual in-person audition. But a lot of the auditions that I always get, like, asked to do will be, like, from a camera. And then you just send it to them, and then they watch it that way. But this was different because I had never actually had someone I didn't know on the other side reading the lines and then having to, like, act in front of them, you know what I mean, with somebody else in the room. So it was like kind of stressful because I was nervous. And I think that helped a lot because I was doing something I hadn't never done before and it was kind of like helping me get used to it. Mm, I'm trying to think of when this was. I think it was after the hurricane, but before Disney. So let's just say a month ago, maybe like a little bit over a month ago, I um, did my first ever speaking role in a movie. This movie is called Limbo. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just like a small little independent film uh, based out of here in Wilmington, North Carolina. But yes, I had my first speaking role on that. And I didn't even audition for this. Um, I did a music video in the summer, I think in June or July. And I became friends with like the cameraman and everyone like that, like people who put that together. And so they had my info. It was like on a Friday and she's like, on Sunday we're filming, um, can you do this part? She sent me over the line. So I had literally like a day to memorize these lines. Um, and in this movie, um, I'm just like the bookstore customer. I don't exactly, like I said, I don't know when it comes out, 
but you best believe when my part's on there, I'm probably gonna upload it onto YouTube because I'm gonna be so like excited about it since it was like my first big break kind of. Um, but I was just like the bookstore customer and I was like, I almost cried, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't cry, but I was like so, so, so nervous that I like, I don't know if it was like anxiety was like, I don't know what happened, but I don't know. It was just like, I had my lines perfectly memorized like I was good to go I had that down and they're like okay rehearsals up so they're like okay uh before they like started rolling they're like Al they're like Allison go ahead and do like what you would say and I literally walk up to the guy and I'm like can't remember anything literally I just blanked and it's like what's so frustrating is like you know you know it but it's just like your nerves just literally get to the best of you um, but thankfully, the director, his name is Pat Dorch, he is like one of the most amazing people that I have met, especially in the film industry, super nice guy, and he's just telling me like, don't be nervous, do it exactly how you would do it, like there's no wrong way, and he kind of like, even though I knew the script verbatim, when I was like going and going and going, and we shot, you know, the scene from multiple angles and multiple takes, and after a while I got it, but I just couldn't get it verbatim and I think it's because of the nerves and he's just like, you know, whatever sounds right, whatever works for you, just say it that way. It doesn't have to be exactly how the script is. And I know like some directors will be like that, but other directors will probably want you to do it exactly the way the script says, but he was such a nice guy and he really, really helped. And definitely after like, you know, the like 10th take, I was more comfortable and now I'm like happy that I did that and I'm so happy that the first time that I had a speaking role, it was with a super nice guy. You know, I couldn't imagine if it was a director who wasn't supportive or wasn't friendly and that probably would have ruined it for me. I'm really happy that I was able to have the opportunity. Um, and like I was saying, in December I'm going to LA. Um, well, it's this huge acting thing. And one of the things I'm gonna be doing is reading uh, a script and I would say to memorize it on camera. That's just one of the things I'm doing. and. I think this is really going to like help me with that because now it's not going to be the first time I have all these people watching me and all the pressure. So I'm happy I got that over with. So yes, um, I also have to do this commercial script and this monologue um, for December when I go. I have to have those memorized. I almost have my monologue completely memorized. The commercial, I have it written on my wall right there. Not my wall, but like a whiteboard so that I can like look at it and like force myself to memorize it, but I haven't looked at it once since I wrote it down. I wrote it down like two weeks ago. Um, I need to memorize it. But once I have that, I'm definitely gonna um, do a separate video. I know some of you probably aren't interested at all. I don't blame you, but some of you might be. So I am definitely gonna post just my monologue up one day. Um, hopefully you guys love it. Uh, it's from 90210. I don't know if you guys ever watched that show. I also cried on the last episode of that. I watched it when I was like 17 or 18 though. Um, that was a good show. So I picked a monologue from that and I'm really excited to share that with you. Hopefully I'll have that memorized soon. A lot of stuff coming in the future and there's, yes, been a lot of stuff that's been going on too. I am happy to finally be sharing some stuff with you. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and end this video because I feel like, yes, I've told you so much. Your mind's probably like, nah, gonna explode. I do wanna end this video with something cancer related just because this whole entire YouTube wouldn't be possible without my journey with cancer, um, but I want to share my hair growth with you. The craziest thing is I had my first ever haircut last week. It was Wednesday, so it was literally a week ago. I wanted to bring my camera with me. I wanted to sit down with you and be like, here, here's my hair before, and then bring the camera with me and, you know, have them show getting my haircut and after, but the people who cut my hair, and I'm not going to mention... Um, weren't really comfortable with me recording, so I just said forget it, didn't worry about it, but I will share with you my hair, and the only, only, only reason I got it cut, because I did not want it cut, my hair was like oh, the most perfect ringlets ever, and I've never had curly hair in my life, so... I know it's been a while since you guys seen me. Um, I will put some pictures here so you can see my hair before I got it cut. I didn't take like one like exactly before, but um, I have pictures from when I was in Disney, which was two weeks ago. So we'll just go off of that. The only reason I got it cut was because I have been growing my hair out, have not touched it once since January of 2016, 20, 
yes, 2016. So it's about to be January 2019, believe it or not, in two months. So it would almost been three years and I had never cut my hair. So you already know how dead my ends were. They didn't look dead or anything. And they were like these ringlets, but when I would touch them, they would kind of feel like straw, you know? So I knew it was just a sad goodbye. I had to just cut them off and, you know, say farewell. I'll take my hair out because it's up. Um, but you can see, I didn't really lose all my curls. Um, I did kind of lose like the ringlet I had going on, but my hair is still, you know, wavy, curly, has texture to it. Um, and this is the length that it's at now. When I went in, he's like, what kind of haircut do you want? And I'm like, I've never had my haircut. Just cut off whatever's dead. He's like, you don't want a specific haircut? And I'm like, nope, just cut off whatever you need to, like just the dead part. So it was probably like about this much he cut off all around. Um, so my hair was actually pretty long. I haven't even shared with anyone on Instagram or taken an Instagram picture yet with my haircut. So this is like news to everybody. Um, but yeah, this is this is my new my new hair girl, you know. But yes. So I'll just leave with that, I guess. Um I definitely will be back like super 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 soon. Um because Dude, seriously, like, where have I been? Let's just leave off here, and we can always talk more later about everything else. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that I didn't shut up for, like, an hour. But, um, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.